<laughs> little <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Hey yo, what is up guys? My name is Clevis Tam, aka the eShop guinea pig, and today we'll be unboxing the DJI RSC2 Pro Combo. To be honest, this box has been sitting in my house for like two years. I received this as a gift back in December 2020, and I've never opened it. As you can tell, this is still brand new. You know, I never really use gimbals. The closest thing I've ever used is one of these. I think these are called glide cans. I use this for my Bali and also the wake surf trip. If you guys haven't seen those videos, you guys can check them out later right across there. Now I got the time to open it and maybe I can shoot some cinematic shots with this gimbal. So let's dive what's inside this box and also teach you guys how to balance it as quickly as possible. If you guys are new to this channel, I mainly do tech review videos and also some random Hong Kong vlogs. So if you guys like that content, please hit that subscribe button and also give me a like if you guys want but no further ado let's see what's inside this box Ooh, let's open it up this box has been in my house for ages so what's ever inside is probably rusty you can see well we got some like manual inside there will be a case the original version doesn't have the case but it's a lot cheaper the pro combo costs around 4599 the normal version costs only around 3099 dollars so let's open what's inside this box and divide it between the pro combo and also the normal version Ooh, there's quite a bit of items here. Let's start from the right hand side. So we have the Raven Eye, a lot of screws and also a Allen wrench. The bottom side, we have a lot of different small items. I have no idea what these are for, but then we'll check them out later. On the right hand side, there's a lot of different components. We have the tripod, but then for the pro combo, this is metal, while the normal version is a plastic. Uh, we also have one of this, I think it's the base plate. Okay, I think this is for the mobile, which I don't think I'll use that often. And then last but not least, we have this, uh, oh, I think this is the focus ring. So that is the first compartment. Now I think it's the main compartment, which is the body itself. Let's check out what's inside. Oh, okay. Oh, we gotta take this off. <laughs> yeah. But then, okay, on the right hand side, is, uh, I think there's a lot of different cables HDMI and uh, USB C cable. Yeah, just cables on cables. A lot of different cables, but some of these cables are only available for the Pro Combo. I'm not sure which one is it. I'll sort them out later. Oh, it is pretty sturdy on the hands. You can see, it's like a gun. So I've just finished sorting out the left hand side. Left hand side, we got the Raven Eye and also different cables for the Raven Eye phone holder and also the focus knob and also different attachment for the focus knob. These are only available for the pro model. So the right hand side is only the components that's included for the basic model. So we have the tripod. However, the tripod stance on the basic model is only plastic while the pro combo is metal. We also have a riser and also different components and also different cables that's uh, related to the main body itself, which is the Ronin RSC2. For the Pro Combo, you're going to have everything and also included the case itself, which is a handy dandy feature. So yeah, let's just see how to set this up and also the quickest method to balance your camera on this device. I spent the whole day yesterday just to figure out how to set it up. Uh, I think I got the hang of it. So first of all, you're gonna have to take, of course, the body out, and then you're gonna have to screw the tripod stance right at the bottom of the handle here, just to make sure it stands on a flat surface so you're ready to set it up. We have a knob right here to unlock it, and then pushing it up with full amount of force, then you can lock it tightly. After this, you will start to unlock the three main components, which is the first one is the pan. Make sure this is behind the screens. And then once it is, you can lock it up. And for the second, the roll axis, which will be on this handle. 
just unlock this. So make sure the white knob is on top of here. And lastly, we got the tilt. For the tilt, there's also a lock and unlock mechanism here, so unlock it. Once that is set up, then you will have to set your camera up with the quick release plate. So that is easy and simple. Just screw it in. Means your quick release plate is ready to go on the base plate. Just unlock it and then you just slide it in and then it doesn't go anywhere. If you want to take it out, you just press this button and you can completely remove the camera out of the base plate. But now we're going to have to stick it in and then lock it. This camera is ready to be balanced on the gimbal. Make sure this part is unlocked. While you are sliding it, you press the safety mechanism and then you can release it so your device is safely secured on your gimbal. So now we just lock it to any position. To balance your gimbal quickly and simply, you just gonna have to remember three parts of the gimbal. First is the tilt. Second is the roll, which is in the middle. Lastly, we have the pan. So basically we'll work from top to bottom. To make sure everything is locked. First axis we will be dabbling into is the tilt. So unlock the tilt. So you can see your camera is it's flopping around just like that. You can see it's really back heavy right now, so we're gonna have to move the camera a little bit forward. Once you found that position, your camera should be stable. So the second position is to make sure your camera would stay vertically upright if it's tilted to this position. However, now it doesn't. So now we'll have to start dabbling with this white knob right here. Shimmy it around and make sure it stays upright like that. Tighten this white knob. And then to make sure the tilt is perfectly balanced, it's not moving when it's upright. It also won't be moving when it's 90 degrees. And also it won't be moving 45 degrees up and 45 degrees down. So that is how you make sure your tilt is perfectly balanced. After you balance the tilt, lock it again. And then now we will go to the roll. So for the roll, we unlock only the roll. So we can see, we're gonna have to unscrew this white knob again and then start to shimmy it. So it looks pretty balanced right here. So once it's tightened, double check whether it is fully balanced on the roll axis, put it on 45 degree tilt, it's not moving, and another 45 degree tilt. So if it's moving, that means a slight calibration could still happen. So, okay, 45 degrees on here. Sometimes really hard to balance it on both sides too on the 45 degrees axis. But that is how we balance the roll. So after you balance the roll axis, same thing, lock it in place. And then lastly we do the pan. So unlock the hinge and then to balance it, we simply just tilt 45 degrees and see whether the camera moves. Now it obviously moves. Yet again, unscrew the white knob and then shimmy it to the perfect position. Looking pretty good. It's stable here. Let's see on the other side. Other side is perfect too. So after that was completed, you have successfully balanced your gimbal. Now we can lock it in place and then boot up the system. Just to make sure this device is fully balanced, we will run two more tests. We will have to auto calibrate using the DJI RSC2. So we're gonna have to unlock all three access, pressing M and the trigger button right here for five seconds. Wait for it to calibrate till it's 100%. So it says completed. So for the last action, you will have to connect your DJI RSC to the Ronin app. And there will be a balance test right here. So in order to begin test, you will have to first of all, tilt your gimbal 45 degrees and then by beginning the test. And if your gimbal is perfectly balanced, there will be a notification saying three excellence for three access. So let's see whether we have the three access to be excellent. So as you can see the balance test result, so that is how you fully balance your DJI RSC2. Perfectly stable as you can see. So once your gimbal is fully balanced, you can then take some cinematic shot with this beast. And also slightly comparing it to the handheld motion of the A7S3 with 
and without active stabilization. But nonetheless, if you guys are not yet subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. And I appreciate you staying this long for the video. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out and I'll see you guys next time.